What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that allows us to automatically set up materials just by pointing Blender to a website that contains all the material maps. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I am really excited for this add-on because what it does is it takes the process of setting up a material and simplifies it inside of Blender. So previously, what you would have to do is you would have to visit a website like this one then you'd have to download all of the different maps so um, like your color maps and your displacement maps all those different things and then you'd have to bring them into blender and you'd have to add them as a material so you'd click on new you'd set up your principled shader and then you'd apply it to an object well this add-on instead allows you to simply click a button right here paste a URL and click on OK you select the resolution of that material and then you just click on OK. And what this is going to do is this is going to go through and it's going to set this up automatically. So you can see how this went to the website that I dictated, downloaded all of the maps and set them up as a material inside of Blender. And so this add-on is called Lily's Surface Scraper and you can find it at this link which I will link to in the notes down below. So you can download it for free from GitHub and uh, you can install it inside of Blender. So in addition, I will also link to the forum post about this on Blender Artists. So if you have any questions or anything like that, you can visit this forum post and you can leave questions there or whatever you wanna do. And so once you download this add-on, all you need to do is install it and then under your preferences, It's gonna be in here as Lily's Surface Scraper. You wanna make sure that you've enabled it. Then you also wanna set a directory for where it's going to store any materials that it downloads. So in this case, I've got it putting them in my assets materials library right now. And so from there, all you have to do is you're gonna look for this inside of your uh, material properties over here. And instead of clicking new and setting up a material, you're gonna look for the dropdown that says Lily Surface Scraper. And so when you look at this, you can see that there's two options in here for ways that you can import. And then it also tells you the available sources for um, places that you can import. So it only supports these websites right now, though textures.1, which I think now is 3D assets.1, um, accesses multiple different websites. But all you need to do is go to one of those websites. So let's say for example, that we were to go to Texture Haven, you just find the URL for a material you like so in this situation, maybe this kitchen wood, and then you just copy this URL, and you can either click on this first button and paste that, or you can click on import from clipboard, which will check your, uh, which will check your clipboard for a copied URL, and then you just pick the variant that you want. So in this situation, for example, I'm gonna bring down the, uh, we'll call it the 2K PNG, Click on OK, and that's gonna download all of those materials and set them up and apply them to the object that I have selected. So you can see how this applied that wood material to this object without me having to really do very much to it. And so one of the cool things about this is if you go into your shader editor and you select this and you go in and look at your material, you can see that this has set this up with a texture coordinate node for size and mapping. It's also set up things like your normal map. Um, it's run them through the proper um, through the proper nodes and it's plugged them into the proper places. And so let's say for example that you wanted to adjust the size here. This is through a mapping node so you can easily adjust this so it's like half the size or half the scale. These are all really adjustable. And so for other materials, like this one, for example, not only does it set up like your color map, your roughness map, but it also sets up a displacement map with a displacement node that plugs into your material output. And the cool thing about this, because previously what you'd have to do is go into your displacement settings and make sure this was set to displacement rather than bump, um, but this does that automatically. So you can see how like for this rock, for example, since I'm rendering in cycles, I get that really great displacement pretty much automatically just by downloading this material. 
So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Are you using this add-on? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.